Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create, and we are working on page six. Page six. So the base of page six is going to be this image, which is from the eight by eight pack. And then I just cut this from the second, I used two eight by eight, second pack, and we're gonna overlap it like that. So we have two flats that are six and a half, six and a half by six. We're gonna score a half inch on the six inch side. And in this case, I'm gonna go right to the corner because I'm duplicating uh, the pattern underneath, underneath, excuse me. So again, you'll need two six and a half by six or half inch on the six and a half inch side. Second one is going to go. I, I um, use my corner chopper uh, on the stub setting, which is going to go on the bottom. It's actually going to wind up being on the top of the flap going up. It's not necessary. I just thought it would look nice. I'm, I'm uh, doing some color blocking on this flap. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so this is easy. This is going to go straight down and be the base. Uh, yeah. Is that, I have that option. So I can do either one, I guess. You can do this. No, it's got to be this way. Okay. Just had to think that through. <laughs> this goes on top of this. Yeah. Okay. Make sure I got the right side up. And it's the side with the flowers over here, not the, the wood. And again, this is from the 8x8. Eight eight. Okay, this is going to go right here from the 8x8. Eight and so you can see that it's extending the pattern. Is going to go up. I gotta think about this for a second. I'm gonna see if I have this trim piece somewhere real quick. I don't think I do. I think I used it someplace else. <clears throat> I must have used it someplace else. Okay, good enough. Um, so this is going to go up and it's going to close like so. I'm going to do color blocking on the back side. So let's plan that out so we can figure out where our magnets are going to go. I'm also doing color blocking here. <clears throat> I'm going to put this strip in between. So... This is three quarters of an inch, and this is just trimmed out off, uh, what, it's a border strip off one of them. So I'm trying to figure out, I probably want my magnet right about here. I'm just gonna draw a circle for now. And then on this side, I'm gonna color block, and I'm using this pattern and this pattern with this in between. So I've got plenty of space.
yeah, so I can easily, let's see if I close this. I think if I put my magnet here, I'm gonna be okay. So let me get my tape. But you know what, just to be safe, let's go ahead and create, uh, do the color blocking here. And then for sure we'll know that we are good to go. So this is gonna be on top. I'm gonna put some temporary tape to hold that in place. But I think, Okay, that's good. All right, so where am I? Let's go ahead and do this piece. Oh, that's all right. And use this. Sorry, I'm shuffling around, but I'm looking for the piece I had turned out for here. I don't know what I did with it. It got mislaid. That's frustrating. All right, we'll go ahead and do this. Uh, I'll set these aside. This is where we go. You know what? I'm going to pause for a second. I'm sorry about that. I had to shuffle a bunch of stuff around. I had dropped it on the floor. So let's get back to... Um, and I decided while I was taking that break, I had this 12 by 12, so that's what I'm gonna do on the inside, uh, rather than doing color blocking on the inside. But I am still gonna do some color blocking here. So again, this is three quarters of an inch wide. Looks like I missed inking one side of it. So that's gonna go here. Perfect, that looks beautiful. And then this is um, a border trim off one of the sheets. I wish I could tell you which one, but I'm not sure. It, I really am not sure. I think it's from the eight by eight, but I'm not positive. So I'm gonna put that here and I just think that breaks it up nice and neat. And then I'm gonna continue the uh, rose pattern uh, down here. Okay, now we're going to trim this piece to fit. No, it looks good. 
sleeve. There we go. This was inked. Beautiful. Isn't that pretty? I think adding this little strip makes it makes it nice. I got to clean my table. I've got ink on it. Okay, doesn't that look lovely? Okay, we're ready to do the B sides now. And again, I just trimmed these down to fit. So well, actually I need to trim it down a little bit more. So I did cut these strips um, and I'm trying to decide if I want to do um, a break here or if I just want to do a solid. I really liked the green. Um, I'm not liking that too much. Let's see if there's a different trim that would look better. I'm just going through my scraps. Um, a lot of times in the very beginning, I will cut the uh, border strips off to preserve them. Uh, at least with Stamperia. Mm, here's another one that's kind of pretty. Mm. The white in it is just too, too white. Too, too white. Maybe that. I'm going to turn that down and see what it looks like. What do we think? Hmm, I think it's too much. We've already got this going on, so I don't want to repeat the process. I think I'll just keep this solid and trim some of that off. Okay, it's ready to go. figure out our orientation and then we will uh, chop the chop the corners sometimes the orientation is hard for me to get um, I guess the pomegranates are kind of going all directions so I'm, I'm gonna choose the orientation that has the most roses up That's what I'm going to do.
Okay, that's it for page six. Thanks everybody for hanging in there with me. Okay, next up, page seven.